Hello everyone, and welcome to the first Miniature Monday of 2020. Happy New Year to ya! I'm Scott, and with a new year comes, well, I guess, wanting to try out new things. So for us, it's this whole new intro thing, seeing what it's like to get a little more FaceTime with ya. So let's see how it goes. Well, I can already tell you that the new year is uh, off to an interesting start. <laughs> Today's video was supposed to be on how to do a new speed painting technique that a buddy of mine at uh, my local painting community had turned me on to. Now, you may have seen the thumbnail and read the title, and you'll know that that's not what uh, the video is. So, uh, clearly something uh, happened along the way. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the model and see what happened. Alrighty, so this is the Carrion Crawler from Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures by WizKids, which means that this mini is an exact replica of the same monster out of the Dungeons & Dragons Monster Manual. This mini comes pre-primed, but you may notice some chipping happening on the primer on the body, as well as some severe mold lines. In my experience, though the sculpts of this brand are greatly detailed, they do tend to suffer these flaws pretty consistently. But it's nothing that a little cleanup can't take care of. Because a carrion crawler is primarily one color, I wanted to try a technique that uses only washes to build up the base coat of your mini. This is meant to be very fast and can deliver quality results if done correctly. For the carrion crawler, we will be using Citadel's Seraphim Sepia as our wash of choice. Now, as the first coat went down, I was noticing that the wash was pooling very heavily in the crevices. Eh, wouldn't you know it, it's doing exactly what it's made to do. Eventually, I found myself having to use a clean brush to soak up all of the excess that had accumulated by the feet. Now this took a while, but eventually I got the base coat to what some might call a good place. I wasn't happy with the way it was looking, but I was optimistic that a second and third coat would start to yield results. So I left it to dry. Starting the second coat, I will admit that my optimism quickly diminished. Already the mini was looking splotchy, and adding more was only making it worse. By the end of this step, I was actually getting a little flustered, so much so that I forgot to hit record when I started my third coat, so instead you get to see the very end. It was at this point that I decided to abandon ship. Although I could tell where this technique would go with more practice, I could also tell that I was doing something wrong. Now at first I thought about all of the time that I had put into this model, but then I reminded myself, most of that was just waiting for a wash to dry and, well, I'm not done yet. So with that, I grabbed the old toothbrush, gave the mini a good scrub under warm water, and was ready to start over. This time, I grabbed Army Painter's Desert Yellow, which I used as the base coat for the body of the mini, avoiding the mouth and the eyes. I have to say, after struggling with the wash for so long, feeling this base layer go down so smoothly was incredible. Suddenly, I had found my second wind, and I was off. For the mouth of the crawler, I mixed Army Painter's Dragon Red and Warlock Purple until I got a tone that I was happy with. Once all of that is dry, we are going to bring back our Seraphim Sepia and use it to shade the body as well as the mouth. I gotta tell you, once this went down, I thought to myself, see, that, that's what you were supposed to look like. Again, after drying, we are going to use Army Painter's Matte White for the crawler's teeth. Now you might be thinking, wow, those are some bright chompers, but they are rather striking in the official art, and I wanted to reflect that in the mini. Next up is Vallejo's Flat Earth, which we are going to use for the soil that the creature is resting on. Carrion crawlers are typically subterranean dwellers, but I've really been trying to get away from my dark stone base obsession, and thought that this would complement the paint job rather nicely. And for our highlights, we are going to break out Army Painter's Corpse Pale. This we are going to be mixing in with our desert yellow one tiny drop at a time, and working the areas that would be catching the light. The carrion crawler has a rather bulbous form, which makes this step so much fun. Aside from the rolls on its body, I'm also sure to hit the tips of its facial tendrils, the bridge of its nose, and all of its legs. This was a very satisfying step, so I'm just going to take a step back and let it play out.
Next, we are going to use Vallejo's German Grey to paint the bug-like eyes of the crawler. Then, we are going to wash the base in Citadel's Agrax Earthshade. And finally, we are going to glaze the whole mini by watering down our Seraphim Sepia until it is almost transparent. This step will help blend our layering as well as all of the details of the mini together. And with that, our carrion crawler is ready to scavenge the corpses of the fallen in its subterranean dwelling. And there we have it. It's not where I thought we were going with this, but you know what? It's where we ended up. <laughs> I think this has really been a great lesson for me in learning that no matter how bad a paint job might look or feel, it's never too late to fix it, even if that means going back and starting from scratch, like with what I had to do here with the carrion crawler. And at the end of the day, I am really happy with these results. I, I know I always say that, but this might be one of my new favorites. Don't tell the others. <laughs> So I'm not quite sure what I was doing wrong with that first technique. Um, I have a few ideas, but if you know exactly what I was doing wrong, please let me know in the comments below. I want to learn that technique, I'm going to try and figure it out, and you can expect another video here in the future. Also, I'd love to hear what you think about this new format that we're trying. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you have no opinion whatsoever? If you don't have an opinion, I don't do anything. But if you do have an opinion, comment below and we'll listen to it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe to our channel for more nerdy content. You can click below to watch some of our other videos. Until next time, once again, my name's Scott, and I will see you at the next Miniature Monday.